Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Git tutorials. These tutorials are brought to you by ZDub Technologies and Services. In this video, we will see that uh, how can we create a new repository for ourselves or basically how can we create a repository using GitHub. We know that GitHub is an online service that helps us to use the features of Git and we also know that a repository is like a collection of files and folders whatever uh, information we want we can just store it into our repository and uh, we can then manage it through version control and also we can do source code management over that particular repository using the services of git so first of all we are going to see that how can we actually create our repository in github then uh, we are going to see that what all operations are possible on a repository that is how can we create a new file uh, in our repository through github how can we upload a file that we have already created into our repository what is a readme file and what are its importance then we are also going to see that how can we download a created repository onto our local machine so that we can use it afterwards okay so let's just uh, once you have opened your github account you can just go to this plus sign here are the different operations which you can perform you can either create a new repository or if you have already created some of the folders of uh, your project you can just import them from your machine so first of all i'm going to show you how to create a new repository you can just click on new repository okay so it is not uh, going to create a repository right now because first of all you need to verify your email so i will be back after verifying my email to create this repository so now i have verified my github uh, account with the email then what i can do is just go to this plus sign and click on new repository so uh, over here i would be given the privileges of an owner that is my username and i need to provide a name for my repository which is going to be demo okay you can give any name to your repository then you can uh, select whether you want to create a public repository if you create a public repository then anyone on the internet can see this repository but i have the control that who can make changes to the files in my repository however if you want to make it private then uh, only i choose that who can see the repository and who can commit this repository so i'm going to make it public that means everyone can see it but only a few people whom i select can make changes to it also you can add a description which is completely optional so i'm just going to add like my first repository okay that's simple then there are these three options uh, you can add a readme file that is um, whatever project you are creating in your repository whatever contains your repository is going to hold you can store its description in a separate file called readme file and everyone who wants to take a look at your project or wants to know that what your project does can just go to this readme file and see it so i'm just going to add a readme file uh, and i can just check on this uh, checkbox and i can click on create repository now after a few seconds of time a repository would be created for me so yeah my repository is created you can see that sample github account that was the name of my account or the username that uh, i created and this slash demo so slash um, is for separation and demo is the name of my repository and if you see that uh, there is this readme.md file which is the first file that i have created by default so if i just double click over it so i can see the contents of this readme file uh, which is nothing but the heading demo and my first repository this was my description that i provided my first repository okay now this is the file that um, is present by default and uh, uh, let us see that what all operations can be performed over this file if you want to edit this file so there is this kind of pencil icon you can just click on it and you can see that this um, file is now available in kind of an edit mode so you want to uh, make some changes you can just make it 
you can type anything you can just delete anything also if you want to copy and paste some stuff you can do that so all this we will uh, see in the next video about the files creating files managing files and downloading the repository that's all for this video